Hey, hey, save my coin budget friends. It's your girl Shalisha and in today's video, we are gonna budget out my first paycheck for the month of June. So if you like budgeting videos, cash stuffing, sinking funds, single mother finances on a low income, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe bell so you do not miss time when I post. So this is your first time seeing my video. Hey, thank you so much for clicking on it. If you're a returning subscriber, and old diva goody hey hey thank you so much for coming on back y'all it's summer break so you're gonna hear a bunch of tv noises stuff falling just roll go along with the punches okay so i'm super excited because tomorrow is payday yes so this is my first paycheck for the month of june so i do get it on six seven of twenty four so um, I do not know how much I'm going to receive, but I do want to make sure that I budget it before I receive it because I will end up at somebody's restaurant, somebody's shop, somebody's store ordering something, waiting on FedEx, Amazon, you know, UPS and USPS, you know, so I want to make sure that I got myself together. So let me know how are you today how are the kids how is your summer break going um are you trying to find things for the kids to do are you trying to figure out your budget for groceries now that they're at home let me know how it's working for you because i'm still trying to figure it out i've been doing pretty good i've been making breakfast and lunch dinner is what i've been going out for so it's like 90 degrees here in chicago it just got hot out of nowhere so i really don't want to feel like cooking but i am thinking i'm gonna make tacos next week that'll last us probably about two days um and then maybe get a pizza a frozen pizza or something so i don't have to go out all of the days but we'll, we'll see um so we have my first paycheck if you saw my last video which is when we did our monthly budget then you know that we went ahead and set up how we were going to break down these paychecks by doing the budget by paycheck method so everything that is in yellow is going to get paid with this paycheck with addition to a portion going towards my mortgage so we have my budget amount of being one thousand three hundred and thirty dollars uh, my first thing that i make sure that i include in my budget is my tithe which would be $1,303 based off this budgeted amount. Then we have my internet, which is AT&T. Again, it is supposed to be free because I qualified for some kind of program or something, but I do not know when it takes into effect, so I am going to still include it in this budget. Next is my Walmart credit card, and that is considered a variable expense for me because it does not stay the same. Um, and I am actually gonna pay the Walmart credit card off, so it's $47. I went and I got some gas with it just to keep it active. I haven't used it since February. Next is Target. And Target I did use because I had to go and get some personal items. And they had a Target Circle offer where it was like you get $10 off and then you get like 10% off. So I did use my card just so I can use those Target Circle points as well as the credit card offer um, for using your Target Circle card. So I am going to pay that off. And that one was... $33. Next is my Hulu and Hulu is $9.99 and that's a fixed expense so it stays the same. And that's Hulu and Disney. So I did go ahead and combine those. Um, I was paying for them separately for some reason. I don't know why, but I think something had Spotify attached to it. And I'm like, eh, I'd rather give up Spotify and have Disney Plus and Hulu combined in one instead of having two different ones. Um, next is my Capital One credit card here that's due on the 16th. Um, so that one does not have a budget. My first Capital One. My second Capital One does have a balance, and that is of $117. And then I have ComEd, which is my electricity. And ComEd, I'm going to budget to be $150. Next is my car insurance, which is State Farm. And I'm going to budget that since now they split it up between if you have other forms of insurance, like life insurance and everything, I got to make sure that I combine it. Um, and that is a fixed expense. And I'm going to budget that to be $132. 
So we have went ahead and listed out all of the bills that we're gonna take care of in this paycheck. Next, we're going to make sure we have enough to put a portion towards my mortgage, as well as cash envelopes and sinking funds. So we're going to tally up and see how much we have between our fixed expenses and variable expenses to see how much we can put towards those um, three categories. Okay, so between the two variable and fixed expenses, it is $632, which means we have a remaining $698 to go between mortgage, sinking funds, and savings challenges. So my mortgage, this is going towards the month of July. Um, so we have... gonna put $450 towards my mortgage. And we have $248 that's left for cash envelopes and sinking funds. So we have cash envelopes, which are my daily expenses. So these are what I use um, on a daily basis. So I have myself, I have my daughter, I have household, I have groceries, I have eating out, I have coffee and miscellaneous. So these are my categories that I use on a day-to-day -day basis to keep myself on budget. Um, so for this last paycheck where I did this cash stuffing, um, I did $200 and that amount I feel like worked pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and budget $200 for this paycheck again, which means we have $48 to put into our sinking funds, which remember I'm only focusing on three. I have my emergency fund, I have back to school and Christmas. Which will be $48. So now I'm gonna go ahead and recalculate the fixed expenses and the variable to make sure we've reached our total amount of two, I'm sorry, 130, oh, y'all, I can't talk today, $1,330. Okay, so for our fixed expenses, we have $734.99, which left the remaining $595.01. So we took that over here to do our variable expenses and our variable expenses totaled $595. I did go ahead and put that one cent into my buffer. So that means that we have given every dollar a name and a place to go. So there's nothing left in this budget. I will come back and do my budget recap once I receive the income and um, the official amounts for these bills. But before I go, I do want to check in with my cash wallet um, to see if we have anything left over. If you are interested in the Save My Coin Budgets Financial Planner, you can go ahead and check it out. It is linked down below. It is a step-by-step -step instruction on how to budget all of the information you need. If you are just starting out and you're like, sis, I really need to get my budget together. Um, I would like to save. I would like to learn how to budget. All of the instructions are in the front. And there are some really cool, fun savings challenges in the back. So this is a one-stop shop budget planner for you. This is all that you need to get started um, and to maintain a budget. All right, so now we have our cash wallet. So we are going to see if we have anything left that we can roll over into savings challenges for our next cash stuffing. So for myself, whoo! I have 10 Zolas, yeah. Oh, and I got some change. Okay, let's see if I can get this out. Okay, okay, I have some change somewhere else too. Y'all, I need to run these uh, through the laminator again. I actually need to create some new envelopes, but I am not a huge fan of creating envelopes. I have my daughter's, so she had $15 that's left, which, you know what? Why? No, I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Okay, she, she had fifteen dollars left. This is household. Household is empty. Groceries is 
empty if you saw if you are not following me on tiktok you know um i did let you guys know that i'm going to be doing a series on tiktok which i did start so you know where this went if you are following me on tiktok if you are not go ahead my handle is the same as on uh, youtube so it's saving my coin budgets um and figure out what's going on with this uh, household envelope eating out is empty coffee let's see we got some monies left so we have one two three four we got five dollars left and we have a quarter which you guys know is going to go into my roll it up savings challenge and then of course into my coin jar so if you are interested in my coin jar you can also check that out down below on my website and miscellaneous didn't have anything so i'm excited that we have something left this will be cash stuffed again in my next um paycheck which will be tomorrow. So if you have any questions or if homegirl missed something, then let me know. Y'all, I can't even get this open, whatever. Let me know. So we have rolling over. We have 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 dollars and 85 cents. Yay! So we did really good in our spending. So I love you guys to the moon and back. Thank you so much for watching. Be blessed. Bye.